Okay. Hello, my makeup loving friends. How's it going? Privyet! I'm your Russian American mix. No, wait, sorry, wrong intro. Uh, if anybody has watched the beautiful Elena, that is the intro to her channel. If you haven't watched her, look, just stop watching now. You're not welcome here. You're just, you're just not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I've talked about Elena before. Obviously, we've seen her on my channel. She looks fabulous. And if you're wondering about her haircut, she does have a video about that. And she spent $900 on it. Or did she? <gasps> Hmm, I'll never tell. Um, she also has a Patreon where she does lives and she has her lives on Monday. And it's just generally a lot of fun. Myself and Sylvia are her Patreons. So I'm going to leave the link down below. That leads me to the beautiful uh, Sylvia. Uh, Sylvia, of course, has her own YouTube channel and I've been watching her since the beginning. And I was telling her just before I started recording this that even at the beginning, she was like really, really skilled. But like in the last two months, she has kicked her skills into overdrive. And I'm just sitting there going, what sorcery is this? It's amazing. And I love that what she's been doing over the last while has been going through palettes that she has used before rather than constantly getting new, new stuff. Because there's a terrible trend within the beauty community of like new, 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 new. And I realize the irony of that on an entire episode that is all about new stuff and I am terrible for buying new stuff. But I was about to like, oh, look at yourself, Teresa. <laughs> I, I am part of the problem and I have the self-awareness to know that. But none of the dedication to do anything about it. But anyways, Sylvia is part of the solution. She's a good person. She's fabulous. Uh, do go look at her channel. I will, of course, link it down below. She's brilliant. You won't regret it. You'll learn stuff fabulous she's a mixture of like high-end and affordable stuff as well yeah. she's done like full faces of patrice and stuff or play the closet cat rice um so do check it out <laughs> or i will judge you severely um i have a quick general announcement okay this is where i get a little bit like a little bit like emotional one of my former students uh from the college that i'm working in has started her own business um, it's Nick Angel's Candles. Aren't they so pretty? She knows me well. She got me green ones. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. yeah. Aren't they fab? And, bear with me, she also gave me these really cute little candle holders. I've been burning them. They're fantastic. And they're not like, um, like they don't even drip really. Okay. Like, which is fantastic. Uh, but she gave me these little candle holders that you can put the candles into, but you can also turn them around and use them as tea, uh, tea lights. And they sell that on their website as well. Um, so it's a small little Irish company. Uh, the candles themselves are made in another Irish company. Um, and it's apparently not just the oldest candle making company in Ireland, not the oldest candle making company in Europe, but the oldest candle making company in the world. So you're buying a little bit of history. So what um, my former student, Nicole, uh, does is she takes the candles and she hand marbles them herself. So each kind of pattern is unique. So even though you'll get like similar color combinations of like, you know, if you buy this one, this is H3, you'll always have the, the black, the silver and uh, the gold, but it's always going to look a bit different. Uh, so do please check it out. It's coming up to Christmas. Everyone likes having a candle on the dinner table. And I've been really enjoying it, but just trying to keep Cece away from it because she is fascinated with flames, like her mother. But yes, do please check it out. They're fab. And look, it's always nice to support little brands. And um, I'm biased because she is a former student of mine. She was fabulous and she always worked very hard. So well done, well done Nicole. You're a doll. Um, yeah, that was just my first like a little general announcement. I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone who tagged me in things this week. I have to say thank you to Brianna, to Jenny, to Becky, Tia, Svetlana, Missy, Jade, Franca, Amina, Mary Helen, Rebecca, Lois, Chloe, Jasmine, Matty, Amy, Gillian, Cecily, Shamela, and Blue-Eyed Blondie. Blue-Eyed Blondie, I couldn't find your actual name. I tried, so you're just, you're, that was your handle on Instagram, so that is you for the rest of your life. Um, we're gonna start off first with holiday releases, even though, like, we're near the end of the month, you would think, you know, there wouldn't be as much still coming out, but there is. There is. Colourpop basically went, here's a ton of stuff that were just here. Just, just take it. Just take all of this. So they have 
three new nine pan palettes. There's a pink one and a blue one, and then there's like a neutral one. And the pink and blue ones are $8.40 each, but then the uh, brown nude one, it's all matte, is $9.80. So I'm not really sure why there's a discrepancy in price there. But they also are coming out with like all of these vaults. So it's like uh, some uh, Super Shock Shadow vaults, uh, Cloud Dye palette vaults, where there's three uh, palettes for $25. Um, there's the Dream Big palette vault, which has six palettes in it for $48. And there's loads of things like gel liner vaults, lippy sticks vaults, all of these. Like, I mean, it's just, it's a lot. A lot. A lot oh, of stuff. Wow. They have Sol body sets. They have um, Fourth Ray beauty sets. It's a whole chunk of stuff. Um, yeah, and of course, some of it is on sale because it's Black Friday. So look, if you wanted this, you probably already got it. Uh, because everyone is very aware of the sales. I almost feel like the enabler alert at the end of this episode is a little bit unnecessary this week. <laughs> but look, you know what it is. So what, what are we thinking about this uh, Christmas holiday collection? It's more in the house. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I like the look of it, but it's also it's just nine pants with one colour. I just like all the colors. Exactly. I like a That's why I said rainbow. more in my house. <laughs> yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. Elena kind of said that last week of like, when you have a monochromatic palette, it's already curated, so there's only so much you can kind of do with it. It kind of yeah. limits your creativity. And you see, the two of you are both yes. so creative anyway that you're just like, oh yeah, just give me, give me colors and I'll figure out yeah. how to smash it onto my face. Simple people like me are like, yes, maybe just give me the one color and I'll, I'll figure out what to do with it from there. But I'm like... <laughs> I don't know, I've gotten overwhelmed. I think it's clever for yeah. them. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think anyone who likes Colourpop, they'll go for it. So I think yeah. it's a smart, smart one. You know, yeah. a lot of people will be happy getting that under the Christmas tree. It'll be a mm -hmm. massive thing. Next one then we have is E Unique Beauty. They have a new eyeshadow palette collection, which is inspired by Japan. Uh, so there's the volume one, which is a colour story inspired by Sakura season and it's cherry blossom. Uh, volume two, which is a color story inspired by Japan traditions, which is vague AF. And volume three, which is a color story inspired by Tokyo, the bustling and bubbling city favorited by the young. That's what they're saying. And uh, they're available now. You can use the code TRENDMOOD for 10% off. Um, the purpley blue palette kind of reminds me a little bit of the Kaleidos palettes. I was thinking Juvia's Place. Yeah. They're coming out at the moment with six color, uh, six shade palettes as well. That's what they've been doing. But it reminds me of, of this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, huh. Interesting. But, but you can invent. You can reinvent stuff, you know. So inevitably, they all going to look the same. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, uh, everybody is duping everyone else because there's only so yeah. many color combinations that you can have. Like, that's it's true. It is what it is, um, and it's down to whether you like formulas, whether you like the specific companies, or you just like the feel of the collection. Sometimes we can be, be as... The majority, the majority is always the fanship of the brand, so if yeah. there's a fan, it's going to be all about that, rather than the, what the cow story is. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It, it does come down an awful lot to like consumer loyalty, which yeah, exactly. is amazing in this day and age. Well, what do we think of, of the color story? I'm a bit confused by the red, yeah. green and yellowy one. Yeah. It's just, just <laughs> does not work together. I don't, I, no. my brain can't fathom it. The other two I think are actually quite nice. Yeah, but the red one has a lot of similar colors. Yeah. yeah two I of the darker and two of the lighter looks. I agree. They could have yeah. gone with like a darker shade and a, a, yeah. then a much lighter shade to kind of really. Yeah. It's kind of like, how did you manage to dupe yourself in yeah. pans? But yeah, it's the red and yeah. green one that I'm like, what is this? <laughs> Can't the figure that out. Purple at all. one I like, but then again, I'm a pink purple fan, so. Yeah, yeah. you are. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen. And then I have uh, Lois Cosmetics Girl Roll palette. It has all those colors and more. Yeah. So. Look, we're all fans of Lois Cosmetics at this point. It's 
very frustrating. Like I just need her to come out with new things because I bought everything that she has. <laughs> really? Oh no. <laughs> I'm like, when's the new thing coming out, Lois? And she's like, stop. Stop asking me things. And I'm like, oh, I just want things. Next thing we have then is Bare Minerals have a slew of different things. I was on their website today and this is where I found a couple of different things. So they have their Mineralist Lipstick Vault where you get 15 of their lipsticks for $134. It has a $300 value. What would be smart is if, say, you and a friend or two friends <laughs> linked in together and went, right, let's like split this between us and then we'll divvy up the lipsticks amongst us. Yeah. That would be smart. But jeez, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. Like I yeah. also thought it was smart that they have the um, Give Your Favourites Customizable Clean Makeup Set. It's $65, but it's a $141 value. So you basically you go in and you choose different aspects of what you want. So the foundation okay. that you want, the powders that you want, etc. So you can build it to suit yourself. It isn't um, like a ready-made set. That that's you, nice. I think that's quite smart. Yeah, it's just more different. Yeah, like I think that's a really smart way of kind of reinventing stuff that they already have. Yeah. So I don't, I don't hate that. I think it's actually quite smart of them. Then they have the full size mineralist hydra smoothing lipstick trio for thirty six dollars. That's a sixty dollar value. I think they're actually quite cute, and the little packaging components look adorable. Yeah, I'm just. I'm such a sucker for packaging. I've been tripped, yeah, I've been tripped so many times into buying things because of the way they look. And I'm yeah. like, why? Why? We've all been there. They have the Warmth Eye and Cheek Palette, $34. Look, it's standard bare minerals. You know, their eye stuff never gets me. And then their full-size matte liquid lip color duo for $20. It's a $40 value. I mean, it is what it is. They have the four-piece cheek and lip set. It's $15, which is a $61 value. That's not bad. Yeah, for $15, good. I would probably pick, well, I'm not going to pick it up because I need to be smart, but like, that's a pretty good deal. Like, that's not, not, not bad. Then they have the Good Tidings Generation Nude Eyeshadow Palette for $40. I, I, don't, I don't think yeah. that's interesting at all. And I'm fairly certain I have seen a palette exactly like that from Sleek Makeup. Oh, ABH. I yeah. was thinking ABH, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Prism. It, yeah, just, yeah, definitely. Then yeah. they have the full size Bear Pro Longwear Lipstick Duo for $25. It's a $40 value. Then the 24 Days of Clean Beauty Advent Calendar. It's $99, but it's a $250 value. The Find Your Favorites Customizable Makeup Set for $65, but it has an up to $92 value. Again, that's where you can kind of pick and choose like your, your blush, your powder, your lipstick. They have the full size generation nude patent lip lacquer. That's right. Uh, they have just basically taken something, put it into a cardboard box, and put a string on it so you can hang it on your tree. <laughs> yeah, as if <laughs> I, I, I'm using I, it. I, I, I don't get that. Like, I genuinely. You know, me neither. I, think, I don't want to put my lipstick or anything in my tree. I want to use it. Yeah. I think what what I somebody's going to go, oh, it's so cute. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. The only yeah. one who will like it is me. Yeah. Because my family think, and my, my doesn't like makeup that much. So why would, yeah. Exactly. Like, I think if you're going to go for like ha having specific uh, Christmas packaging, don't do it that way. Do it. Instead, like they had shown some lipsticks earlier that had lovely little pictures of trees and snow. I was like, why not keep on that theme? Yeah. Do that instead. I think that would have been better but I don't know there's a few brands doing that so you know they're they're not the main ones at fault they also have the mascara matte lip color and finishing powder trio for $15 it's a $45 value so again I think that's actually pretty darn good the joyful color generation nude eyeshadow palette for $25 three the same colors and then three purples yeah pretty much pretty much <laughs> like and also can we can we just briefly say that's going to suit somebody of my skin tone because I am a ghost. But yeah. anyone who has seen the light of sun, probably it's not going yeah. to work for them that well. No, mm -hmm. which is, they're not fabulous at, at inclusivity, which is just very sad. It looks um, like my beard is shimmers. So I'm looking, it looks like my it does. 
Yeah, and I, I really, I don't get that. They have a primer, finishing powder, and lip lacquer trio for $15. Again, I think that's actually quite smart. That's a $38 value. They have mm -hmm. the Give Your Favorites customizable clean um, uh, skincare. Uh, it's $85, mm -hmm. but it has a $170 value. They have a three-piece brush set and bag for $45. It's an $84 value. I still think that's way too expensive. But yeah, and there's are ugly ass brushes. <laughs> I love it. She's pulling no punches. I'm enjoying it. Um, they no, have. You need one of these. Just oh, to she really does. She I've does. got one of these. <gasps> oh, girl, I love it. <laughs> That's like the highbrow cultured version. This is the Venice version with Romeo and Juliet on it. See, this is how we know she's European, mainland European. Yeah. You know, she's like, let me do it. And I have nothing. I'm just going to fan myself with my hand like the peasant that I am. <laughs> you can get easy with a tail. That's, oh, yeah. She puts that to me <laughs> all the time. All the time. We then have the 10 piece clean beauty collection. It's $55. It has a $180 value. They have the full size Lash Topia Mascara Duo for $22, $40 value. And the lip balm duo for $20. That's too much for lip balms. I know they're saying it's a $36 value, but just go down to Tesco, to Asda, to Walmart, wherever your local convenience store is, and pick up a lip balm from there. Yep. I'll do the same thing. And I always say I don't need it. Like, nobody needs it until you start using it, then you can stop. So that's all the stuff from Bare Minerals. That's a whole lot. A lot. Of a lot of stuff but I think they're smart in that they're not bringing out anything new new yeah because I think they just know There's the so much new at the moment oh. I think they're, they're playing to their strengths there of like anyone that's going to be getting something from Bare Minerals is probably already a fan and they're just catering yep. to that so it's, it's a bad move the next one oh my god oh my sweet merciful Zeus right oh, this is the Scott ready. Barnes holiday vault there's 50 shadows 10 lip glosses oh, 3 lip pencils three duo palettes, uh, three powders. It's currently on sale for the low, low price of $525. Yeah, that looks amazing, but it's way too expensive. Would like that in PR, please. Yeah. Then I'll, then I'll use it. Send it, send it to Sylvia. Yeah, please. No. <laughs> it's usually going to be $750. Oh, God. Like, it's only $525 yeah. now because of Black Friday. Yeah. What? But also, like, they're still selling stuff at um, a profit. If they're able of to get $225 off and still make it profitable. Of course. But that's all the sales. That's everyone. They still make money enough on it. Don't worry. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's just yeah. not much of a profit. I think they should yeah. have, what they should have done is compile smaller, smaller sets. Like, uh, yeah. like a, make four sets out of this so yeah. people have options. I agree, because like there's nothing else on there. It's just that one big ass yeah. vault. Yeah. Um, but I, I've I've looked at some of his stuff in the past and kind of gone, oh, I wonder if I'll get it. But like the price has always put me off. Yeah, yeah. and I'm I, it's like really expensive. Yeah. yeah, I just couldn't justify it. But yeah, if if look, if anybody is buying this, will you let me know down below? Because there is an Irish woman that needs another like adoptive set of parents <laughs> my parents are done with me now they're like you're done <laughs> we're not we're not getting you stuff anymore and i'm like that's fair and then the next thing we have is i love that i've just juxtaposed this after scott barnes uh this is primark good old primark aka pennies um as we know it here in ireland thankfully we're coming out of lockdown soon in ireland i believe england are, are the same and primark or pennies is waiting for us with some Christmas goodies. So you know me, I'm going to be just there at the door, just like slowly frothing at the mouth. I may have like had a, like a Twitter exchange with Primark the other day, just kind of going, I'll let, let, let me in, I'll give you a sandwich. And they're like, maybe, <laughs> just let me, let me in. So there's some nice kind of bits and pieces. Uh, they said that the prices start from three pounds, three euro 50 or $4.50. So it looks like there's like some kind of neutral looking palette, some lashes, some liquid lipsticks and glosses and that sort of thing. So pretty darn good. Like not a 
I like Primark makeup, it's good. This next one, very confusing. This is Hawaiian Cosmetics Santa Baby eyeshadow palette. It has nine shades, there's six mattes and three shimmers. I mean, look, firstly, good, good mix of mattes and shimmers. I like that there's more mattes and like, yep. shimmers because I have a whinge about that repeatedly, but the color story is just... Yeah, but we're far kids. If you want a neutral palette, it's nice. Yeah, that, look, that is true. You're yeah. asking the wrong people. We yeah, it's like red. it's red more than it's neutral. There's a lot of reds and pinks. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think for me though, when I think of like a Christmas palette, I think of something like glamorous, yeah. you know, yeah. that you're like, I want to be like a shiny disco ball. Yeah, like a silver, smoky, black, something. Yeah, so it's, it's not quite hitting. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're in a weird year where, you know, we're not having Christmas parties or whatever, but it's just, I wouldn't look at that and immediately think Christmas. But yeah, that's, that's Hawaiian cosmetics if you're interested. And next one then is Clumsy Cosmetics, which is such a good name for a line. This is their <laughs> Home for the Holidays palette and they have a Christmas lip gloss bundle. Um, so they're available now. You can get the palette for $30 and the lip gloss bundle is retailing for $22. I do think when I'm looking at the palette though, there's two reds there that look exactly the same. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And pinks are very close to each other. I mean, it's that not the worst. No, it's not. Yeah. It's, I'm just like, oh, it does feel like like a late submission you know when you're when you're getting an assignment ready for college yeah you're like oh god i've only two minutes left to get it in before the deadline oh i've still so much more to do well better to publish it as it is than get the late penalty this is what it feels like yeah but they're like quickly just submit something to say i've submitted it and i'm like i respect that as an academic i i, I understand um it's not for me no. We then have, speaking of, we then have Beautylish. Every year they come out with their uh, Koyodu uh, the Christmas brush sets. Um, so you get these four brushes and a pouch for $100. $100? God. No, no way. way. We'll ask Elena. She has a $100 haircut. So, you know, this is, this is for her. <laughs> Nothing. It's like change money. <laughs> They don't even look good. It's like a shocky flat brush, brush, a weird brush, yeah. and an angle. Why? Just, just get yourself a set of gesso brushes. Yes, please. Way better. Treat yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, amazing. It just seems like a poor waste of money. Yeah. Do you know, like if you have that much, I'd prefer to, like, say, get a set of gesso brushes and maybe treat myself to a nice palette or two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We then have Estee Lauder and uh, just there's a lot of bits and pieces. They have the 33 Beauty Essentials. It's uh, $75 with any purchase, uh, but it is a $455 value. So you can only get it if you're already making $75 worth of a or like uh, $75 worth of a purchase or something. Why? It's, it's, yeah, I, I, yeah, exactly why. There's just, there's lipsticks, there's- Ugly pellets. Yeah, uh, the way I'm looking at it is, uh, like it's obviously, it's not made for us, like, and that's fine. Um, but I think this is very true to the Estee Lauder customer. That's true. I, that's think, true. Have, I think they've done this really well for yeah. the person that will always buy from them. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so like, I think they're really listening to their customers in that sense. And I, I, I think it's good when a company does that, that they haven't just gone. Like, it'd be weird. It'd be very odd if we saw an Estee Lauder palette come out and it was <laughs> bright greens and purples and pinks. We'd be like, oh my God, who has slipped LSD into the True. water? Fountain? I see blues and purples. So. Yes, but they're very muted. You know, they'll be like yeah. the wash of color. I need mean, the palettes look okay, and then I look at this arm with the brush on it, and then I think, hmm. Exactly, exactly, because they're the, they're a wash of color. Yep. They're not they're not going to be the strong pigment that yep. we like. They're <laughs> going to be a little little hint, the suggestion of color, which True. suits that customer. Maria, who uh, she has her own channel. It's uh, well, she she changed it there recently. It's Maria's Nail Journey. Do give her a look. I love watching her videos very soothing like she does all nail stuff and then I look at my own nails and they're just like claws just horrible talons um but I saw this every time I see a, a like a nail polish release now I think of her because she's studying this 
This is a uh, light lacquers, 12 days of lacquer advent calendar. It's $70. It includes uh, 12 vegan cruelty free products, including seven exclusive limited edition mini shades, three new treatments, festive nails accessories, whatever that means, and a nail file to help get you out of Shawshank. <laughs> so, for nail lovers, yeah, amazing. Look, I mean, people who love uh, Kathleen lights, who love nails, that's right down their alley. Yeah. You know, my and, sister would love this. Yeah, I think a lot of people will. So, like, yeah. I, I think it's actually quite smart doing something like that. Oh, this next one, I thought this was really cute. This is from Beauty Creation Cosmetics. It's their Nutcracker palette and, and um, lipstick collection. So, mm -hmm. They have the Nutcracker eyeshadow palette, which is $13 oh, and has 12 shades. And they have the Nutcracker lip kit, which is $11. It includes four minis, three matte liquid lipsticks and one gloss because they're listening to us. We understand that you only need one gloss. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Thank you for listening, Beauty Creations. I respect you. And they also have um, the Nutcracker PR bundle. So if you wanted to get the whole thing together, $25, along with the lovely little case. Yeah, that looks amazing. The pinks are similar and the reds are similar. They could have put a little more variation. But yeah, yeah, but I think I also that's the glad. picture. I would yeah. like instead of one of the pinks. Yeah, I don't think it's bad at all. And I can really see the inspiration of Nutcracker. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Oh, cute. I mean, if you yeah. found that under your tree, wouldn't you be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Yep. Love it. And like, you look really impressive coming in with that thing. Like, yeah, I got this as a present and it's only $25. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like it it. Looks great. it's a great gift. Yeah, yeah I think so. Um, but that's it in terms of the holiday releases. You know, there's a mix of things there for yeah. all sorts of customers, consumers, high end. If you want to get your Scott Bard, <laughs> please yeah. let me know because I need someone to take care of me. Um, <laughs> we're now moving on to, uh, the new makeup releases that we kind of want to have a look. Well, I say we. I make these PDFs and then I make these poor women talk to me about it. Uh, you know, so there we go. Um, okay, over the last while, uh, we had For Art's Sake Cosmetics come out with the Van Gogh um, inspired Starry Night palette. And I was like, I remember Storybook Cosmetics Saying that they were going to come out with this like about two or three years ago but then it some it kind of got stalled and it you know how we've heard that it takes about two years for a palette to be made that must have been around about the time that everyone else started to do this because Muse beauty have come out with their own uh palette that is inspired by van gogh's um starry night and we talked about two weeks ago for art's sake coming out with their own one as well so we now see that Muse Beauty have their own one. It is $28. Um, it has nine shades, including four shimmers and five mattes. So a good, a good mix. I do think when you look at the color story of that, it makes an awful lot of sense. Like it's definitely linked to the, I, have, I love that painting. Like it's one of my favorites. So I would be very annoyed if it was effed up. And I think the packaging is quite nice. Mm -hmm, it's beautiful. Yeah, but I think a part of why I included this was this also happened to come at the same time as Storybook Cosmetics actually finally revealing what their palette looks like. So their palette has also been revealed. And oh my Lord, it's oh. like Muse Beauty were like, here's the challenge. And Storybook Cosmetics went, hold my beer. The packaging, beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow, that's gorgeous. It's stunning. It's so I love those colors better as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, it's you know what how you see in those like um, entertainment shows and they're like who wore it better? Mm -hmm. Storybook. I mean that's yeah. no disrespect to me. Yeah. You need to get rid of the orange. <laughs> to get yeah. Rid of orange. Yeah. At the same time though, I know why that's there. Yeah. Me too. Like it. You can see that it's directly inspired from the, the pink. Yeah. Really myself, like, oh, I wouldn't want an orange in there, but I can see the justification yeah. for having it. Yeah. So I'm not angry about it being in there. I love it. No. I, yeah, I love it. think it's That's beautiful. This way, how much the palette? That would probably no. be the first time I, I keep the packaging. Yeah. Oh, I would. I'd keep the packaging. They haven't yeah. indicated how much it is yet. Um, mm. 
because they have been drip feeding this all week and I've just been sitting there kind of going I need to know I need to know you need to tell me so they're, they haven't even given a date yet it's sometime in December and I'm just like twitching away kind of going but I want it I want it hmm so yeah, it depends on how expensive it is yeah yeah but I, yeah. I just I just think it's beautiful yeah. I think it's, it's really nice really gorgeous so yeah we're off to a good start next thing we have then is ja makeup i got so many tags in this so this is um the makeup artist ja she's australian she has done a collaboration with be perfect in the past the ja clientele palette and she's come out with her own makeup line and here's the thing i love seeing when creators come out with their own yeah. things i'm always super excited for them so when I saw that she was coming out with something, I was like, okay, let's, let's have a look. So she's come out with two different brush sets, but they're the same brushes, but with like different mm -hmm. handles and different color bristles. Mm -hmm. And she has four different eye shimmer pigments, which is fine. However, the price, the so price. Ridiculous. Okay, if, if you're not sitting down, I need you to sit down, okay, because we'll start easy okay so the brush sets are 59 dollars each that's right for three brushes 59 dollars right we thought beauty lish were bad but then for the for for the shimmery loose pigments that's 27 dollars 99. Well, for one and the two in the middle look the same i i don't yeah. understand yeah. um yeah. Again, I 100% appreciate that people have to obviously make a profit, particularly when they're yeah. starting off. There's a lot of um, overhead, etc. But this does seem to be a, a disproportionate markup. I know it's ridiculous. That's just that's just taking money. And just the thing is, money. she she will have people who are her fans yeah, and love buy it. her and want to support. But that's with everything. It just I don't know. It doesn't sit well with me. It just feels yeah. maybe she got a real bad deal, like with somebody who uh, produces them, because like you can't always blame the artist because somebody like a business yeah, that's not experienced, they might make a bad deal and it'll sell for this is cost this much. Yeah. That's that's what I'm that's hoping. Well, not that I'm hoping this happened because that would be that would really <laughs> suck oh, for her. Shark Tank, like on Shark Tank, they talk about it all the time. You know, the yeah. profit the margin. People just make dumb decisions. Yeah, like I I kind of hope. I don't really know her as a, a like a, an artist because her makeup aesthetic isn't really what I'm interested in. Um, but I would hope that that's not how she is as a person. Um, I hope it is yeah. just that there have been some issues around, I don't know, products and yeah. getting, yeah, it's just it's a lot of money. It, it just yeah, it is. like a lot of money for what it is. Like even ABH when you're getting their glitter pigments are not that much. No. Mm -hmm. Which yeah, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But yeah, I, I I'm gonna be interested to see what people think. Comment down below. This I thought this was really cute. Um, this is from Game Beauty. Uh, so it's apparently it's a new brand and it's based around video games apparently. But I can't figure out how this is related to a video game. Somebody I'm sure will comment down below and and inform me. Uh, this has uh, ten shadows and it is forty five dollars. I think it's really pretty. I'm a bit confused about the left hand side with the yellow and the purple. Yeah. Like, over yeah. the right hand side. Victoria. Victoria is like gamer. So Victoria, exactly. do you know what that is? Yeah. That's what where my brain was going as well. I was like, she will she will sort us out. Will, yeah. I think it's quite cute. I mean forty five dollars is an awful lot, but yeah. it's cute. I don't hate it. I think the packaging looks really cute. Yeah. So today I put up a video about Milani and it was semi-disastrous and <laughs> um, the palette was terrible but the blush was beautiful so my opinion is and feel free to correct me that Milani's strengths lie in their face products primarily their their blushes their highlighters their bronzers so they just have one blush from them and that's it oh they're so good they're, they are really nice yeah. but they are coming out with four new blushes so they are their um, multitasking cheek kiss cream blush. They're eleven euro ninety five per shade, or you could get all four of them together for thirty six euro fifty six. I love a cream blush, and I I really like Milani's formula. So like I think 
I'm, I'm glad to see this because it's just, I've been so put off after that eyeshadow palette. <laughs> I get it, yeah. Yeah, but you know they're going to be good. These yeah. are going to be good. Yeah, but face is good. That's, yeah. that's the thing, like they're playing to their strengths and I, I, I think that's yeah. clever of them. But yeah, I, I think if you're interested, it might be worth getting the bundle. Again, chat to friends and see if, if you want to, do they want the other two? This next one, this is um, the crayon case. Yeah. So it's $59.99. The story around this is, um, I know it's a black owned brand. I can't remember who, who it was that owned it, but she was an, or she is an influencer. And she started her own brand, which was the crayon case. And she came out with this palette that ended up being quite successful. But the problem was bigger companies came in and essentially vultured and took her idea and went mm. off and ran with it, but were able to mass produce it for less. Mm. Um, so she's come out with another one now. Um, a fair play to her for getting up when she's been knocked down. Like yeah. it must be so disheartening to have a bigger company who has more resources come in and basically... Yeah take your ideas like i mean don't get me wrong we said earlier like there's only so much innovation there's only so many color combinations yeah. but they did take the idea of like a crayon case away from her yeah which wasn't wasn't very nice um but yeah fair play to her she's back up again it's absolutely huge it's 64 yeah. shades and like i said it's 55 dollars 99 a lot of repeat shades in there I know, it all looks the same. Like, how yeah. do it look? Mm. I mean, yeah, I love the packaging and it looks amazing. But and the way she plays it, it's kind of like yeah. it does not, it's like a turn. No. It's almost please like a, for don't a do it all. Well, no. It yeah. has to be aesthetic pleasing when you look at it. It has to be a color schemed. That's way better. If she was gearing towards like a five year old, they would be like, ooh, I want the yeah. color. But yeah. it's like, it's what else? And we are like, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's a pity. Like, I'd like to see her do well after all of that, but it's just, yeah. oh, it's I mean, not quite. Yeah. Still idea, though. Like, I see the idea behind it because the crayons would look like that, all yeah. dispatched. Yeah, yeah. True. You can see how it's really linked to like the source idea. So like, I'm not mad at that. Um. Oh my gosh, the next one. I'm very excited about this. This is Menagerie Cosmetics and they're coming out with two new shimmery blushes there's satsuki uh which is a, a twinkly uh blush which is the the pink base with a blue violet twinkle and then there's flower horn which is the glowy golden peach blush they're pretty they're really <sighs> pretty i want both of them i again yeah, and i mm. normally gravitate towards the orange but i want both of them and i want to smear yeah. them all over my body I'll probably need a few just to, because I'm a large woman. They're <laughs> 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 really to get the pigment on there. Yeah. You know? But I think, I think that's really pretty. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. I couldn't find any information on prices because as of filming, uh, they're not available yet. They okay. should be available in the next few hours because okay. it's on American yeah. time. But I'm like, oh, yeah. darn you and your beautiful things yeah. making me want things. Well, sometimes we're in the same place, so they say see, something from UK and conversion rate is like really yeah. ridiculous. I'm like, mm. yeah, like, I swear, Elena, if you don't get something like this, I'm gonna be so angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> Your geographical location is wasted on you, yeah, wasted. exactly. That's why you need yeah. to move to me. <laughs> I need to unleash Teresa to you, as like, unleash Teresa, she's gonna be by. by okay, me. next one. I, I feel like Elena might have some feelings on this uh, because I was watching her declutter and she got to the infamous wet and wild Vaseline glitter and this is reminding me of this because it says it's a glitter cream palette from Barry M. It's £5.99 and my worry is that that is a Vaseline-ish mess. Mm. Yeah, the word cream and cream and glitter, they should be together mm. because it doesn't sound right. No. Comment down below if you want Elena to try this on her channel. Why me? Why me? It's always me. <laughs> <laughs> I have PTSD. I can't. <laughs> she survived the Soviet Union, but she can't survive cream glitter. <laughs> Next one then is from uh, Janelica. It's their Soulmates eyeshadow palette. Full disclosure, uh, Janelica once sent me PR, so I am forever 
Tish. They were the first ones to send me free things. So I was like, oh, Ooh. that's very nice. Um, it's $40. I know it's a mother-daughter uh, company that's based out of California. I think it's actually really sweet when you have like a little family-owned company. <laughs> no, I'm looking at the green row. I can't help it. It's just how my mind works. I do think there's too many shimmers. Yeah, it's all shimmers. Yeah. Except for the it's six, six shimmers, three mats. Yeah. And I mean, don't get me wrong. And those two greens are looking the same. The mask darker and shimmers lighter. Yeah. They should have flipped it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like the, the actual colors. Like, I like the color story. But I think it's it's the finishes of the shadows that just needed yeah. to kind of be tweaked. Lethal Cosmetics. So we talked about Lethal Cosmetics a few weeks ago in terms of their, their build your own blush palette. And we were all like, oh my God, this is amazing. And I am a fan of Lethal Cosmetics. I've I think I bought pretty much most of what they have. Um, they are a nice little, I, I don't have problems. Everything's fine. I'm not buying my feelings. Really? It's I, not that I'm, I'm not severely depressed and anxious and this is the only way I manage my symptoms. Everything's <laughs> fine. Um, <laughs> they are a German company and uh, they're, they're really good, but they were kind of hinting they were coming out with something again, which I was like, Blanche, you've just done something. Like, <laughs> sit down, relax. But they've come <laughs> out with uh, this uh, Velvet Dusk collection. So there's uh, four FX gel liners. They're $18.97 a piece. Um, and they come in the shades Hertz, Threshold, Q, and Phase. There is the Velvet Dusk palette, which is $58.09. Uh, there's an empty Velvet Dusk palette. So you can get just the general outside of the palette if you want. And you can build your own yeah. thing to go in with it. Because um, you can build your own palettes on there, which is quite cool. And you can get a prismatic palette for twenty eight dollars uh, forty five. Um, they will be available once this goes up. Um, I already have quite a few of those shades already from Lethal Cosmetics or something quite similar. What I can say is, if you do like the look of that palette, I can vouch for the quality of Lethal Cosmetics. Yeah, not the best. Yeah. Oh, they have one of the nicest, like kind of limey, citrusy like chemically greens and I just every so often like to take it out and just swatch it and just go you are mine you're not allowed to leave <laughs> um I, I I'm not gonna get it because I need to be better and, and <laughs> stop buying my feelings next next thing we have to talk about is and I've looked for this on their website but it isn't up yet this is a new NARS quad it is uh Moscova which made me think of Elena. And <laughs> what did their, we do? Quads, their quads are usually $52. So I'm assuming that that's what it's yeah. going to look like. Now, I have slated NARS in the past for just being like, this is the same quad over and over and over and over again, because I like to be salty. This is different from them. Like, it's not yeah. wildly innovative, but it's, it's innovative, no, but innovative for them. Yeah. They've been watching. Yep. Well, at least the Moscow palette does look nice. So yeah. I'm happy about that. Yeah. Otherwise, Elena would have put them down and been like, excuse you. Except they cannot spell Moscow correctly. It's Moscow without the O. So that's how Russians pronounce it, Moscow. Well, so. you know, we can't have everything, Elena. We need to teach them. Shit. Just <laughs> le like, let's take one thing at a time, is all I'm saying. I do think that's nice um it's different for them so well done next thing we have we talked about beauty creations earlier Ooh. in terms of their holiday release this is a new palette from them as well now there's no price yet but i was looking on their website and i would imagine this will be about 20 dollars oh, based on nice. their previous okay. uh, it kind of reminds me of the tall pop palette i just bought yeah <laughs> it looks really nice it's the yeah, jasmine yeah. eyeshadow palette so there's 35 shades mattes shimmers and some pressed glitters I like the color story. Yeah. I don't have anything but beauty creations. The kind yeah. of, you know, the beauty glaze, the kind of the same kind of thing. Okay. It might be worth so checking out for your channel. Not get something. Yeah. It needs to be on my channel. I, well, it, it fits in with your whole thing of affordable beauty. Yeah. 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 So guys, if you're interested in anything from beauty creations, go over to Elena. She may end up with something from them in the next couple of weeks. Cause she does have things pre-filmed because she's a busy woman she has things to do <laughs> mostly pay attention to me yeah. 
Next thing, um, this is from Black Moon Cosmetics. I recently purchased from Black Moon Cosmetics. I did a video on my channel. It was their Urban Myth Palette. And um, they're coming out with some new bullet lipsticks. I'm looking at the green and I cannot, I can't take my eyes off. I know. I'm looking at the black. Yeah. Oh, well, I have black orange. I don't have a green either. I, I think this is, this is very smart because they have like their more wearable colors. There's like the nude in there of misery. There's like that orangey red of trick or treat. There's that really deep brown nude werewolf and there's some nice red. But then they have the fun colors in there, the black, yeah. the, the green and the blue. I think that's very smart. Yeah. Very I want the green and blue. The green and blue just go with my name. I love it. Oh, they're gorgeous. And now I, I do have um, two of their liquid lipsticks because I picked them up when I got the palette. And they're very comfortable. So. Yeah, they look nice. I, ooh, I like it. I love, yeah. it. I, like I love it. it. Yeah. Next thing. Oh, my sweet merciful Zeus. My little. Oh, my little. Mary Poppins. Exactly. Oh. Oh, my right. Elena's not going to get this because Soviet Union did not care about women. Soviet oh, Union. We did not have any Mary Poppins. Yes. Oh. <laughs> or, or just general joy. Actually, <laughs> actually, fun fact. We had. And I grew up on the movie, and the Russian, the Russian movie was very good. It was one of the best movies, about one of the best Mary Poppins that a Russian woman played. So, just a fun fact. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, well, the Mary Poppins I know is Julie Andrews, and I don't care what anyone says, I will not accept Emily Blunt. I'm sorry, I just won't. It's not acceptable in my life, and I won't take it. But this is Besame. Besame are known for doing a lot of uh, collaborations with things like Disney. They did a Sleeping Beauty collection, was it about this time last year? And um, that, that was very clearly linked to the movie. So they're, they're smart about how to link things. Um, so they have things like the Mrs. Bank set, which includes um, like a lipstick. And the lipstick is, is drawn from like a dress that she wears and a sash that she wears when she, she's first introduced to the family and she's coming in from a suffragette meeting, which I'm like, oh, I love Mrs. Banks. Mrs. Banks was the true, the true amazing person behind that. Cause there she was having it all, getting married, fighting for equality yeah. in the early 1900s. Well done, Mrs. Banks, you yeah. absolute legend. Um, but there's lots of different things. There's like lipsticks, there's nail polishes, uh, there's powders. Um, we have, like I said, the, the Mrs. Banks set. Um, that's $35. That comes uh, with a lipstick and it comes oh, with a nail polish. Uh, there is the Mary Poppins set, which is $68. They have the practically perfect powder, which is the translucent powder, which sets makeup and reduces shine. It's based on the design of Mary Poppins's own compact in the film, oh, awesome. which makes me want to cry. There is a Poppins red lipstick, you know my feelings on red lipsticks, and Mary's Cream Rouge, which is a lip and cheek tint that matches Mary's lipstick. And there's also if you just wanted to get the Poppins Red Lipstick by itself, that's $25. Now, Besame is usually crazy, crazy expensive. So when I saw this, I thought, oh my God, this is good. Now, don't get me wrong, it is still expensive, yeah. but it is not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And like, I, I've noticed Disney is doing a lot of collaborations with people. Somebody commented yeah. that it's to do with the fact that they've had to close all their theme parks. Yeah. There is no movie, well, there are movies coming out, but they're not coming into the cinemas. And mm -hmm. they're just not getting in the same revenue as they would generally. Um, so I guess this is the way that they're trying to claw yeah. back um, some money. I have to say, I think this is actually done really well. Um, I think yeah. they, they have had some dodgy collaborations uh, over the last while. Um, but I think it was smart of them to go with Besame because Besame yeah. do seem to sit down and have a think about the source material. And I mean, there's Mary Poppins. Uh, it's just, it just looks like her compact. You just want it because oh. you love Mary Poppins. Oh, That's the only reason. I like. I watched that on between that and Chitty oh. Chitty Bang Bang. Watched that on repeat. I was convinced mm -hmm. I was going to marry Dick Van Dyke when I was younger. This is a, a new subscription box. This is called Cheeky Beauty. So it's a monthly subscription box, and it is um, for indie beauty brands. And it is going to be $29.99 US a month. So I would assume it's all like US-based indie brands yeah. are giving, uh, you know, 
US prices. So yeah. I know some people like to try out some indie brands and this is one way to try it. So there you go, my friends, there you go. This next one, right. Our girl, <laughs> Elena, is a salty bee and I love her so much for it. Just her eternal <laughs> sass. The fan is out. It's, look, look at her hiding. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm a bit sassy. And she's like, I don't get my people like Colourpop. I don't get my people like Colourpop. Now, we're in Elena's Patreon group. So we have yep. been privy to this, right? This is the, the new, I mean, Colourpop are just coming out with a million things. Like yeah, this. But this always. Is, this is their Fade Into Hue and Colour Me Obsessed Cream Gel Liner Roll along with like a, an eyeshadow palette, right? And we were all like, Elena, are you, are you going to get this? So there's the, the palette itself, which is $23.80. It's normally going to be $34 because it's obviously subject to, to the sale. There's the Economy Obsessed Liner Roll, which is $26.60. It's normally going to be $38. And you can get the It's Hue and Me palette and liner set for $50.40, standard price of $72. Oh my God. Yeah. If you like this, for the love of God, subscribe to Elena's channel because she's bought the damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> a complete set, right? Yeah. I was being with Teresa this morning. I'm like, as Teresa would say, I need everything. I have no regrets. Yeah. I'm so it proud. It is pretty though. It is gorgeous. Yeah. I just bought the Morphe one, so. Yeah. I just know those gel liners are superb. I have a couple of them and they're great quality. I actually used up the white one. I literally used it up. So, I mean, I know that that's value already. So, yeah. like, no. Nah. Yeah. And I mean, getting it at that price, I think that's, yeah. Look, I just, just quality, hope it's good. <laughs> if the quality stands up to my standard, it would be good because the, the, your other palette was like, meh. So, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah sorry. So I have five Super Shock shadows and I don't like them. See? So, I'm not the I've only been for very, very long and they're. From the beginning, I can't work with them. Not even now, when I'm getting better at everything and doing more makeup. They yeah, still this is awesome. Um, yeah, I, 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 I like ColourPop. I don't think that's the best. I, don't, I like ColourPop, but I don't know. Some things. I like that foundation. I've got, I bought a new well, one from that, and their concealer is amazing. I love yeah. that. Yeah, it's good. I decluttered their matte concealer. It was so bad. I had to declutter it. Oh, I but love it. The matte one? Yeah, and the oh. foundation. I love those. I just have yeah. the wrong color in the foundation, so I bought a new one. And the concealer is almost gone. It's probably down to like skin type. No, it was yeah. so dry on me. I mean, I'm older, so oh, okay. I was like, oh, life was sucked out of me. Yeah, just FYI, Elena is 65, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly preserved. Miss is probably cackling. Miss is like, <laughs> yeah. I'm just 29 forever. Yeah. Like a nanny. Yeah. Oh, I. I apparently turned 30 this May, but like, let's face it, 20 36. didn't happen. So I'm reversing it to still being 29. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I'm, I'm 29 for seven years already. Yeah. It works fine. I'm 21 plus that. <laughs> Just saying. Um, yeah, so if you like the look of that palette, for the love of God, head over to Elena's channel because it, yeah. when she gets it, she will do some, like, I mean, look, yeah. she's amazing. She's annoyingly yeah. talented. Like. She gives me an inferiority complex. I need to start surrounding myself with like chimps. I just don't know how to do things. Next thing then is e.l.f. They have some new liquid metallic eyeshadows. They're $5 each and they are coming out with, I believe it's eight different shades. $5, that's not bad. I like the green and I like the purple. I like the formula. I had one and I actually just threw it away today because it was so bad I just couldn't use it. That is part of why I included this. Because I was like, I want to see what Elena thinks. I don't know, maybe the other colors are good. Because one, I had one and it didn't like it. I think for $5 though, at least you can, you could, yeah. you can afford to try one, see do you like it, yeah. then. The amount is like, it's tiny. It's literally like the tiniest one ever. Yeah. Size doesn't matter. As long as it works. Yeah. We then have... Ava Beauty. So they are coming out with uh, three different quad palettes. There's the Moana quad palette, the Dawn quad palette, and the Twilight quad palette. They're 25 US dollars each. I mean, they're fine. I quite like the green one, but I think there isn't enough variation there to kind of... For the same green shades. Yeah. Just different formulas. I think the pink I like the pink purple one. one. It's yeah. okay. 
Yeah, I think yeah. that's the one that makes the most sense to me that I'm like, yeah. I could see that you could do something with that. Yeah. The other two, no. No, they're all, all both the same shades. Yeah, I think that's, again, just editing. Not, not, not quite. No, not very good. Not all that. And $25 seems like an awful lot for four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So, and I mean, there's, mm. there's other stuff out there that has like really interesting formulas. Like Copacetic has some really interesting, like flaky formulas. And they would be a couple of dollars less for a quad, but the formula is really interesting. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I don't mind yeah. a bit more if it's something really unusual. Yeah. So I'm like, mm, this, I don't yeah. know. I'm trying not to be salty, but there you go. <laughs> this is by Viseart. It's their uh, Liaison Extension Violette. It is a 12 shades uh, with mattes, shimmers, and duochromes. Uh, when I was looking at this, um, it reminded me, the very right-hand side that has the purples, it reminded me of one of their 12 pan palettes, which was the Dark Edit that came out last year. It was like, it had dark purples and then some like bits of greens. I ended up buying it because... You know, I have problems. I kind like, of really I'm so similar. Like everything is so similar. Yeah. So mm. unnecessary. Way too yeah. close together. That's, or the picture's not being making any good, but Yeah, that's the thing. I kind of feel like for anyone who is has the who has the dark edit palette, it wouldn't make sense to get this yeah. because you're just getting some nudes along with shades that you already have. And I assume if yeah. you have busy art, you probably already have some of the nudes as well. Yeah. However, uh -huh. If um, if you do like the look of this and you want to try Vizzy Art and you've never tried it before, I think they are th these sort of palettes are usually about thirty nine dollars because they make them really nice and small and they're great for traveling. So again, if you like it, yeah. this might be a nice introduction. And then the very last thing that we have to talk about in terms of like the new makeup is uh, Shop Yvette Beauty. Uh, this is their Chill Out eyeshadow palette. It has three mattes, five pressed glitters and three mats why it's three mats what can you do with it light. they're like the lightest mats ever so why would you do that it's yeah. so confusing and then of all of the, the three different formulas mats shimmers glitters <laughs> the glitters outnumber the what why this is very confusing yeah but for some reason this palette makes me so happy to look at it the color bias and it's ah. I'm looking at the blue glitter. I'm like blue glitter. I love it. This is the thing. I I love the color story yeah. of it. Yeah. Like I look at that and I'm like, oh, that is actually really nice. But it's just, I yeah. I'm a yeah. bit confused about certain aspects of it. Yeah. Again, it's one of those things that I'm like, if they had spent a little bit longer on it, I think it would have been. What I would have done, I would have put the palette as mattes and shimmers. And I put a quad of glitter separately, mm. like separate from it, as it like in conjunction you can buy both. So it would be nice yeah. to have glitter separate and the palette separate. Yeah, yeah, that'd be smart because so many people hate having pressed glitters in their palette. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care. Me neither. I'm just like shove it on the face. I love yep. the glitter. Love it. I mean, granted, I'm picking it off myself for days afterwards. But that's it in terms of the new makeup releases. We are now onto the lightning round. So that's kind of stuff that. It's kind of middle of the road. Um, I just figured it wasn't worth spending a huge amount of time on, but we like to make sure that you guys are still informed about what's going on. So we're gonna run through this. This is Dandelions Cosmetics. They have a new quad. It is what it is. Uh, Molly O'Brien have some new brushes um, that are coming out. It's part of their XMO range. Well done her. Technic have some new uh, velvet lip kits that are coming out. They're available now if you're interested. I'm assuming we may end up having um, our Elena looking at something like that. Elf, look, I have to include this in the lightning round because I, I can't talk about this for too long because it's a lip balm and, yeah. and I, 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 I just can't. It comes in about a million different unnecessary shades, but there you go. Dose of Colors have come out with four new lip sets in the shades Truffle, On Repeat, Stone Lip and Cork Lip. They're $39 each, but they have a $67 value. I think that's quite smart. Now, Color, Color Pop have Super Shock Shadow Duos. Um, they're $10 and they're teaming up with NKLA. Um, so it's like a shelter that they would normally 
uh, team up with them and they give a certain amount of proceeds to. So well done them. NYX have a couple of different things coming out. They have the Marshmallow Soothing Primer for $17, the Bright Maker for $14, the Brow Glue Instant Brow Styler for $8 and the Lift and Snatch uh, Brow Tint Pen for $11. We sneak peeked this last week, made by Mitchell, had the little mini Mitchell palette uh, out it's out now and they I'm annoyed because I just purchased the two big palettes together and it's been a couple of days yeah don't, look don't get me started they a couple of days later then were like oh we have a deal on where you can get the two palettes together and get a free little mini Mitchell and I was like oh we have more lip balms that nobody's asking for uh, this is Jill Stewart Beauty they have the Lucky Gems lip balms they're apparently releasing one a month starting in December and ending in November 2021. What? Okay, fine. Shine by SD Cosmetics have a new fantasy collection. Uh, they're available now if you're interested. Noctex Cosmetics have a velvet matte ultra comfortable liquid lip vial coming in the ultimate red shade with the antiquity release in December. This is Danessa Myricks. It's some new Twin Flames multi-chrome pigments. Everyone and their mother is doing multi-chromes. This is Gale Beauty. They have five new toasty shades available for purchase. They are $12.99 each. This is Violet Voss. They have the new tie-dye uh, eyeshadow palette. It is primarily shimmers, which, okay. And also I looked at this. Yeah, and I looked at this and I was like, do they not already have this? Because they have a palette like this, but it's matte. But yeah, if you like this, it's $36 and it's available yeah. now. So if you're a bougie bee, Dior is going to be coming out with some stuff in spring. It is exactly what we would expect from Dior. Yeah. Uh, a very muted eyeshadow palette, uh, a face palette that only suits kind of pale people and yeah. uh, some lip stuff. So there you go. Bobby Brown are also following suit and coming out with stuff that's just like, eh, okay. They have like some cleansing stuff, some lipsticks. The highlighter looks pretty, but you know, I'm sure the Revlon one is just as good. Yeah. Give Me Glow have a new shadow. It's the Gifts Galore. That looks really quite yeah, nice. Stunning. Yeah. Ugh. Besame are also coming out with some new nail polishes. They are $17 each. So there you go. M Cosmetics, so EM Cosmetics, they are coming out with the Divine Skies and Lip Cushion uh, to the Faded Clementine collection. So it's like a six pan eyeshadow palette that looks like, I mean, it's fine, mm -hmm. it's neutral. And then they have like a sort of like a, a lip pen sort of thing. There you go. Lana Lips then have come out with their new lip water in liquid gold. Um, it has mint oil, so obviously it's going to plump out your lips a little bit and there's hyaluronic acid and all that sort of thing. Physicians Formula have their all-star face palette and it has six different kind of face products. I like that. Yeah, I that's think that's pretty. better. Yeah, they have the Moro Moro Butter uh, Bronzer, the Matte Manoy Butter Bronzer, the Rosé All Day Petal Glow Highlighter, the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush, the Powder Palette in um, Mineral Glow Pearls Highlighter, and the Powder Palette in Face Powder. And that is apparently $14.99. I think that's actually quite clever. Yeah. 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 Trixie Cosmetics. Uh, this mm. looks kind of childish to me, but yeah, yeah me too. maybe I'm just a bit old. They have the Mod <laughs> IQ blush palette, uh, which is twenty eight dollars. I I'm very dubious about blush palettes. They have the yeah. Rocket Girl sprinkles for ten dollars, the Fizz sparkles for ten dollars, and a beanie hat for twenty three dollars. Why? Why? Which makeup queen wears a beanie? <laughs> Look. If if Jafar Starfish is coming out with <laughs> his whole loungewear apparel, let I I mean look if that's Ugly. what they're doing, I don't get it. I don't personally Linear. get it. But no. you know what? It's winter, your head is cold, fair enough. Not wearing that. Yeah, no. It is what it is. Does your cosmetics have some chrome paints? It's uh ten different shades, they're twenty-five dollars each. Which just, Each. yeah, I know, I know, I know. Then I go better get a Barry Allen. Yeah. Or Lowe's Cosmetics. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, Lowe's Cosmetics yeah. need to go. Lois, more stuff, please. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by that, I mean bring out more stuff, not send me stuff. Although, if you want to send me stuff, that's fine too. <laughs> 
Oh, socially awkward parakeet. We then have Blending Factory Cosmetics um, and they are releasing some moisturizing lip glosses in eight shades. So they're available now. We have uh, Carnival Cosmetics, are, which are coming out with some chameleon flakes. Then we have Peachy Boutique, who have a new body care thing. So it's apparently scented with snowy champagne, there's frosted cranberry, and there's sliced gingerbread, and they're 10 US dollars each. Lobos Glam Boutique ha are coming out with some 12 piece eye brush sets. It'll be interesting to see how much they'll be. We have uh, September Rose Cosmetics, which is a UK based black owned brand. They are adding four new shades to their bubbly gloss collection. They're £9.99 each. Ammo Cosmetics have the Rainbow Clouds makeup collection, which features five new pigment shades. The pressed palette is $22 and you can get five gram jar loose pigment sets for $25 if you're interested. We have Silhouette Boutique. They have a new five piece pink brush set and that's going to be available in the Black Friday sale. So It'll, it'll be up by the time this is up. Sparkly's Glitter Gloss have a new deep purple micro fine glitter with magenta sparkles. It's called the Blood Seeker. Again, that's, that's available from Black Friday. We have Menagerie Cosmetics who are coming out with the new candy bracelet foaming sugar scrub with notes of cotton candy, bubblegum, pear, apple, sugared lemon drops and crushed Madagascar vanilla. That's a lot of different smells. <laughs> like one. Yeah. yeah. I've got to be very confused. Double Down Cosmetics have the Mix Cleanser and the Meron Com Complex. So it's just like some cleansing facial stuff. We then have Laced with Cherry who have their new Crowned Fairies palette. It has 18 colours uh, with mattes, shimmers and some pressed glitters. It's very pastel -y, so. Yeah. Cecily tagged me in this and I got a little giggle because initially they were just showing the outside of the palette and they were telling people, you know, you can pre-order it now. And she's like, who was going to pre-order a palette when you don't even know what the inside looks like? But now we know what the inside looks like. It's $24.50. It's called the Cottage Garden Palette. And it is from Pretty Heart Cosmetics. Oh, that was Colourpop. It looks like Colourpop. It does, doesn't it? It's very, very <laughs> springtime. We then have Tracy's Powder Room. They have the uh, Gilded Rose. That's a really pretty looking yep. shade. Mm -hmm. I like that. Then there is Starface, who have collaborated with Hello Kitty, come out with uh, 32 hydrocolloid pimple patches. They're $14.99, um, and it comes like with a little case. Then we have Coloured Rain. They are coming out with some new bronzers. Um, they aren't out yet, but can we take a moment to appreciate the depth of those bronzers? You would know that as a black-owned brand. They are catering. For, for that demographic. Well done them. Then we have Lancome who are coming out with a new lash. It's their dubbed lash Idol mascara and that's coming out December 2nd. Guerlain are coming out with some new lipsticks and some more of the meteorite powder pearls if you're interested it's coming out sometime in 2021. Primer are coming out with some vanilla and jojoba lip care ranges. So they are ranging from one pound onwards. Revolution Pro have their ultimate crystal palette in Adorned. It's 18 pounds at the moment, but it'll usually be 20 pounds. Does an XX Revolution have about the same? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's and what I remember. I thought it's an XX Revolution. Shimmers. It's like full of shimmers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really hard to tell the difference between Revolution Pro and XX Revolution. At yeah. this point. It is actually Revolution Pro because I double checked. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It looks the same. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's remember how Revolution Pro came out with those quads that had the Yeah. Thing? It's it's that but yeah. bigger. So yeah. <laughs> yes, anyways, it is what it is. Yeah. We have uh Sandy Bell Cosmetics. They have their chin palette. It's it's warm neutral, I guess. Yeah. Then we have uh Euphoric Sun, they have three new palettes. Um and I don't have the names of them, but I, I kind of like to look at the green one and then the, yeah. the, the swatches looked really sad. Oh. I was yeah. like, oh, oh yeah, they do. Yeah. 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 We then have the baby face lashes. There is the uh, Blood In, Blood Out collection, which can I just say, the name does not match no. the palette or the face palette. Mm. I'm very confused. Uh, but yeah, they're coming soon. Then today, Urban Decay announced that they are coming out with the Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow. So it's a long-wearing tinted glow hydrator with kombucha. 
and marula oil. It's medium coverage and it will give you apparently a fresh looking glow. It's $29 and it has 12 shades, which let's face it, that's not a great shade range. Nikia Joy have launched some new products. So it includes some um, extra makeup brushes. There's some eyeshadow pigments. There's 29 different shades. Some of them look quite nice. Yep. And uh, there's a new premium makeup bag. So that's okay. it in terms of the new makeup releases. Now we're on to sneak peeks. You have done very well. Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> well done. Um, this is from Magical Makeup UK. It seems to be a, a glitter palette that is coming out at some point. Unicorn Cosmetics have given us a sneak peek at some of their pigments. Uh, Chaos Cosmetics are coming out with uh, some multi-chrome liquid gel liners. Look, all I'm saying is the last time I came near a multi-chrome liquid liner, I was very annoyed. XX Revolution, I'm looking at you. You screwed me over and I'm not happy with you and I, I have a weird amount of PTSD on that. Sheen Cosmetics are coming out with a pastel and neon liner sort of a vault. Uh, they're meant to be uh, travel friendly for, you know, when we travel again. This is from Coley Cosmetics and uh, I just got a quick screen, screen grab of it, but it is a mushroom shaped palette. Why? Exactly. Why? I hate that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, and uh, just no. the amount of people who tagged me in this, uh, Lois, looking at you, you tagged me in this, you cheeky thing. This is not only is it okay so not only is it a blurry picture but it's a blurry picture of a nine pan palette that has no shadows in it it's completely empty <laughs> that's why? so annoying why? why would you do promote that it's, i don't know i know but actually do you know what it this gives me the opportunity to, to say um i have said on my channel before that i am writing a book and i i wanted to take this opportunity uh to give you guys a sneak peek of my book, so it's gonna flash up on, on the screen now. The girls have already seen it. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, if they can do it, I can do it too. That's all I'm saying. That is as ridiculous. Yeah, as it it's true. Like, yeah. I'm just saying. Why, um, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't understand it. Um, <laughs> we're now onto the enabler alert. I mean, look, it's Black Friday. If you don't know that there are sales going on, well, what, what, what? <sighs> Anyways, look, I'm gonna start off by saying um, I have a code with Style Vanna, but my lovely friend Chrissy also has a code. So I'm gonna put her code down there as well. Uh, and you can choose which one you want. You can use whatever, whichever one you want, either she or I will make a, a, a commission on that. Mine is INF10 Teresa, hers is INF10 Chrissy. I'll put it down below. Go check it out. Go check out Christina. She's fabulous. Um, Missa, who we love on this channel, uh, also has a code uh, with Look Fantastic, and it is Cyber Missa. And follow the link down below. It will bring you to, to the site, and it's a whole affiliate. Is it an affiliate? I don't really know what the exact No, it's not affiliate. Is. Yeah. She's not getting anything for yeah, it. She isn't getting anything for, for it, but it makes her look good. Uh, so follow so do it. And treat yourself. Treat yourself. Yeah. I've told you to, so you must. It's about 50% off, right? Yeah, yeah. Come on, um, go for it. Yeah, exactly. 50% off. Exactly. And uh, Lois Cosmetics, who, again, we love on, on this channel. Can't help it. Love it. Yeah. They are doing, apparently, a big Black Friday sale. Lois was telling me there's, like, up to about 33% off on certain things. And, like, considering the price is already pretty darn low, that, mm -hmm. that's pretty good. And uh, if you're signed up to the newsletter, you will get a password to get onto the site ASAP. I'm very excited. I, I know I have everything, but I want to get some things for people because I'm an idiot and I just get really excited about getting presents for people. Lois knows. And I was like, I swear, Lois, if I do not get that email with that password, I'm going to be so angry. <laughs> and she was like, like I will PM one, you. <laughs> she was like, don't worry, I will PM you with this. And I was like, you had better. You had better. Um, <laughs> Then we have the Balm have 50% off, Lime Crime have up to 30% off, Juvia's Place have up to 50% off, and Anastasia Beverly Hills have, have up to 50% off. Be Perfect have a couple of different sets uh, that are 12 euro each. There are things like cases with like the, the Mitchell Sub-Zero highlighter palette. There's the tanning stuff because, you know, in case you don't want to look like a ghost. There is uh, Stylo Cosmetics. Uh, they have apparently partnered with PayPal 
and they're they're releasing a deal where if you buy any two palettes you get a build your own six piece collection for free so there you go scott barnes who we talked about earlier has 30 percent off the site that's how you can get the vault for the low low price of 525 dollars you bougie bee i'm watching you tiffany i know what you're doing um pixie have 50 percent off uh all makeup when you buy one uh get one so it's like buy one get one 50 percent off you use the code pixie color b-o-g-o -O, so there you go uh cloud 10 have up to 40 percent off Black Moon Cosmetics, who I talked about, um, they also have 40% uh, off all single items, so go check them out. Color Drain have 30 to 90% off site-wide. We talked about them a couple of weeks ago where they had some really interesting looking li liquid lipsticks, and I really wanted them at the time, um, uh, but I didn't get them. I may have went on to them uh, the other night and got the liquid lipsticks for $10 instead of 20. <laughs> I regret nothing. Nothing, I tell you, my friend. Nothing. Um, and I need you to revel in all of it with me. Sydney Grace have up to 25% off at the moment. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury, or Chaza, as I like to think of her, has 45% off. Uh, you know, there you go. Revolution have up to 50% off. Colourpop with 30% off. Uh, Pastel Roses have 35% off if you use the code Pastel35. And Uoma Beauty have up to 80% off of their site at the moment. That's it, lads go buy or just cry in the shower because you can't afford your rent this month because you've made some poor life choices but you have many boxes to show for it <laughs> i mean yeah uh that's yeah. that's that's it uh do please go check out sylvia check out uh, elena do please subscribe to them you will really enjoy their content um i am big fans of them so yeah that's it Go oh, enjoy the rest of your day. Do please like, comment, and subscribe. Do please share because sharing is caring. Unless, of course, it's an STD, in which case, oh my god, like just wrap it up. Just don't be gross. But that's it. Go, leave, enjoy the rest of your day. Stop hanging around here. I have other stuff to do. Go. Bye. Bye. <laughs>